biggest prankster at Kent. Uh, it used to be Mitchell Clayton, but probably moved that along now to Harry Podmore. He's a pretty big, big prankster. The stadium I've played at, probably Lords. Uh, the MCG was was pretty good, but obviously I didn't play there. Um, but yeah, Lords was pretty good on the Thursday night. How was the Lions trip uh, to Australia? It was a really good trip actually. A really good group of boys. Um, learned a lot cricket wise. Um, yeah, brilliant trip. One legend from the past, who would it be and why? Um, who would it be? I wouldn't mind back my KP. That'd be a pretty good experience. He's just the best for me. Um, here he is, dad himself. Uh, what's it like being the second favourite cricket, second best cricketer in the family? Nice one, dad. How much extra training do you do when you're not with Kent? Uh, not masses, because I'm kind of always with Kent, so I don't really get an opportunity to, but in times like this, I've been doing a lot on my own. How do I react quickly on the short ball? I think it's just training. The more you train for it, the better you get. Um, keep working hard, over train, um, test yourself. Maybe start with tennis balls and then crank it up to cricket balls and bowling machine balls and things like that. But yeah, keep working hard. Uh, biggest joker at Kent. Um, Zach Crawley's up there. Joe Denley's up there. Fastest bowler I've faced, probably Joffrey Archer. At what age did you realise you could actually make it as a professional cricketer? Probably when I was about 16, 15, 16, when I first got on the academy, kind of got exposed to, to that environment quite early and um and yeah I, I kind of had that drive to, to want to do it and um that's probably when when i realized really. what's been your favorite cricketer moment so far probably yeah getting picked for the lions again or maybe scoring my first first class 100 that was a pretty good feeling how would you feel to get a century of joe root the other end that'd be pretty good that because that probably mean i'm playing for england so yeah that'd be pretty good uh with this experience in the kent change rooms um, some of the lads went for haircuts last year um, when we were off the rain and then we actually ended up getting bowled out for, for 45 so that didn't, didn't go down too well. Earliest cricket memory, um, probably watching my dad play uh, indoor cricket, can't remember what it was, I think it might have been Elton College, but watching him there. Favourite bit of stash, probably all my England kit, pretty, pretty chuffed with that. Uh, best mate in the Kent team. Um, Matt Mills is probably up there, moving in with him this year, so that should be should be pretty good. How did you improve yourself and become fitter? Lots of running. I think the more you can run, get stronger running-wise. Also get in the gym as well, do a lot of core stuff, um, hip strength and and glute mobility. Uh, who's the toughest spin bowler you've ever played against? Probably Ashwin. He's just the best in the world, really, isn't he? You can't. Can't really complain with that. Uh, biggest achievement in cricket, probably getting picked for the Lions. Our favourite cover drive probably has to be um, Ian Bell. He's about as pure as it gets when it comes to the cover drive. Uh, when I'm walking out to bat, I probably try and stay as calm as I can. I almost try and show a persona of, of I'm in control. Um, try and send a message to the opposition. I think nerves are a good thing. If you, if you have nerves before you bat, it shows you care. Um, so I wouldn't worry about about the nerves. I think it's just how you control them and and how you go about that. So I, I think just think of positives. If you think of negatives, you're only probably going to have a negative mindset. Whereas if you try and think positively and use that energy in the right way, then uh, you should be in a pretty good place. Uh, facing Archer was obviously a, a good good test. Only faced one ball of him, um, but I think you just got to try and stay focused and just trust yourself and almost just play the ball. Because if you start playing the the man archer, then you're it's a completely different game. If you, at the end of the day, it's just another ball coming down. It's just just archer bowling it instead. Just batch of questions done. Uh, keep them coming, and um, I'll do another little answering session a bit later. Stay safe. Stay at home, lads. Look after yourselves.